Hi, my name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, my name's Jeff Makarevich and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today we're doing chicken shawarma. It is originally from Turkey. It is packed full of flavor and spices. Not spicy spicy, just spices. You are gonna love it. And I'm pairing it with this rosé from Provence. Oh, who doesn't love a rosé, right? Well, let's get started on the marinade because we want to marinate these chicken thighs. We're working with chicken thighs today. And it's their boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And really, you really want the thighs because I think that the actual, and here we got an actual lemon, all the lemon going right in. If you get any of the seeds in, don't worry about that. I like to squeeze with my hand on because we're not actually going to be using the marinade. We're going to be taking the chicken out of the marinade and all the lemon. So if you have a dry lemon, use two lemons. You definitely want a juicy, juicy lemon here. And here we go. This is all about the spices. Let me tell you about all these spices. Most of these you have in the cabinet already. We have paprika, cumin, allspice, turmeric, little bit of cinnamon, little bit of red pepper flakes, and ground up salt and pepper. That is it. And like I say, most of that is already in your cabinet. And these are so healthy and good for you. Let's get them all right in there. And turmeric. Oh my God, they're saying all these wonderful health benefits from turmeric, from relieves like muscle uh, aches and just wonderful, great benefits. And allspice, a lot of people don't know about allspice and some garlic on here. And all the exact ingredients are right down below in the description center. And back to allspice, it is not a actual combination of spices. It is from one dried berry. Uh, and it has a ton, a ton of flavor. So let's get our chicken. We have chicken thighs. I have two pounds, not here. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a, an, an extra dish for me later in the week uh, because you want to marinate these. You want to let these go at least a minimum of two hours, two to 12 hours. I like to marinate them in the morning, go to work, and then come back because you want, look at all these dark, rich, colorful flavors. You want that chicken thighs just to soak up all those good juices and flavors so you definitely want to let that go let me wash my hands and i have some in the fridge already i'm going to grab out okay so we have our chicken thighs i pulled them out of the refrigerator now what i want to do is add a whole red onion i cut it up into large chunks uh, leave the large chunks because we're putting this at 425 degrees and I don't want the onions to burn. That's why they're in large chunks. And don't worry about them being in with the chicken marinade that has all the, uh, because it is going to go for 425 degrees. Very lightly, I put in some uh, olive oil in our roasting pan here, just a little bit because the chicken already has olive oil on it. So you just need about a tablespoon, that's it. And we are going to roast these in the pan here at 425 degrees here for about 30 minutes until they're cooked through. Halfway through, uh, please flip them over uh, and we'll add these onion chunks in here. And the shawarma, oh my God, the flavors of this. And if you didn't know shawarma, the Arabic word for shawarma is actually means turning. And if you've ever been to one of these uh, shawarma places, Turkish places, 
um, they sit on this pit and they're constantly turning with all this meat and flame is hitting it. So we're trying to do the exact same thing here at the house and I'll show you. I've been playing with this recipe for quite a while now and I think I've got it perfectly for you uh, because it is amazing. So we're gonna get that in the oven. Don't forget to flip it over halfway through and then we're gonna crisp it up once we get it out of the oven. Yes, there you go. Let me wash up these hands. Our chicken shawarma has just finished its 30 minutes in the oven. Let's get it out. Ooh, the smell in here is just amazing. Oh my goodness. Take a look at that sizzling. Now that is not done yet. We are gonna make it as original as we can. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that rest for five minutes. We don't wanna cut into the chicken. We're gonna make sliver marks and, um, and cut thin pieces of the chicken after five minutes. And then we're gonna fry it up in the pan in olive oil just to get the edges nice and crisp, as authentic as we possibly can. Now we cut our chicken shawarma up into thin pieces, you could see here. Now this is where we wanna try to get it as authentic as possible. Do you hear that? That's what you want to hear. There's a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Work in batches. This is only going to go uh, a few minutes, uh, no more than two minutes. You just want to crisp them up, make them little crispy, just like the actual turning of the pit, the fire pit in the shawarma restaurants. So this is going to just put a nice heat also to all the spices and wake up all the spices. Um, this is definitely exactly how you want to do it. Um, yeah, you are adding a little bit more oil to this. It is perfectly good to eat just out of the oven. I tried it. It was amazing on its own, but I'm trying to get it as authentic as possible for you. And let's talk really about this fleur de mer which is in French, flower of the sea. It is this beautiful Provence uh, wine. It has notes of watermelon and cherry with just a touch of citrus. Oh, it's delicious. It is really delicious. It will just pull back on all those spices. And when I mean spices, not hot, hot spices, just all the spices that's going on in these dish. Uh, it will work perfectly with this. See, look at this, how it just browned these up. That's exactly what you want to see. And just do a little browning on each side and get them nice and crispy. And you can pair this with anything you want. Today, I'm going to put it on a pita uh, with, they usually pair it with cucumbers and tomato. Uh, and or you can just pair it with your favorite vegetable. You do you, as I always say. So let me finish these off in batches, and I can't wait to taste this. Before I try, I first want to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes and all the fun we have here at Wine and Dine with Jeff. I have to try this chicken shawarma though. It looks so amazing. I put it on a pita and I had some tahini sauce. I have a little tahini sauce recipe in my link down below too. Uh, pairs up perfectly on a pita here. Okay, look at this. I have no idea how I'm gonna put my mouth around this, but I am gonna try. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is amazing. All those flavors from all those spices just come through. This is going to be your new favorite recipe guaranteed. I just know it. I would like to thank you for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff. And we'll see you next week.